The next thing we're going to do is create uh, another cube. Now we could obviously create a new cube like we have done previously, uh, but we're actually creating a second crate this time. So because we've already got one that's roughly the right size, shape and position, it makes more sense to duplicate it rather than create another one from scratch. So that's what we're going to look at now. So I'm just going to turn my rotate tool off and go back to my selection tool. And I'm going to make sure that it is selected. And then in order to duplicate this cube that I've created, I'm going to go to edit and down to duplicate. So when I click on that, it won't look like anything's happened. But you'll see the name of the object is now crate one instead of crate. So what Maya has done is created a new crate, a copy of the first one. It's named it for us, crate one, and it's selected it for us. So we don't have crate selected anymore. We have the new one selected. So if I switch to my move tool, which is this little chappy here, and then I can just move that and you'll see that I have the original crate and the, the copy, the duplicate. So now what I'm going to do with that duplicate is I'm just going to, I'm going to scale it a little bit. And what I'm using, by the way, is the keyboard shortcuts for switching between these three main tools. The keyboard shortcut for the move tool is W. The keyboard shortcut for the rotate tool is E. And the keyboard shortcut for the scale tool is R. And if you can get into the, the habit of using those, it'll make your life a little bit quicker, which is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the shape of this one a little bit because I don't want everything to look too samey. And I'm just going to rotate it ever so slightly. And then I'm going to just make sure that that is positioned next to the cube. I mean, next to the crate, sorry, on the ground like that. Okay, so this step is complete, but the next step um, is up to you. So what I want you to do is create a stack of five of these crates um, that look like they're obeying the laws of physics and gravity. So just um, create different sizes, shapes, stack them up, create five of them. Uh, and once you've done that, I will see you in the next step.